This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Constable Aaron Tompkins back with me for our monthly check-in. Thank you for joining us. As always, a pleasure and uh, happy to be here. Thank you. You are our community service officer with the Smith Falls Police Department, and you've had a busy couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, COVID restrictions have lifted, and uh, we're, we're happy to say we've had a blast over the last three weeks. Um, a lot of torch run events, and uh, it's going to be a full summer, at least for July and uh, into August for uh, community events. So yeah. very excited about that. So let's start talking about the, the law enforcement torch run and the, the tolls that you had uh, just a couple of weeks ago. My goodness, the support was phenomenal. Yeah, so the weather, we just want to say thank you to the weather because um, it rained the day before, the day after, all of our events. And every event that we did, it was like perfect weather conditions. So on the 3rd uh, of June, we did our, our tolling down at the Cornelia Street underpass and uh, had a, a wonderful group of special olympians out their guardians parents uh, you came out and take a lot of nice pictures um we had our, our partner agency um from peterborough police service so we had some of their uh, officers civilians out and uh happy to say we raised a lot of money in a record-breaking day so uh thank you to our community and people that were passing through our community for their generosity and uh, we raised over fourteen thousand dollars in one day tolling for uh, special olympics so that's that's amazing. That's amazing in itself too. And, and they, we've had COVID, and, and some of our events got canceled in the last couple of years. So for people to come back out and remember, yeah, we're here, and uh, it's a great way to support our Special Olympic athletes. And it, it truly is. And I was honestly worried about are people going to have cash on them because uh, COVID kind of shut down cash for a lot of people. But no, the uh, the amount of five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, we had people throwing in hundreds and fifties. It was just uh, truly amazing to see and uh, very, very generous. And um, people just know how much and how special the Special Olympians are to policing and in our community overall. So, and, and, you know, so many of our athletes are so well known in Smith Falls, too. That's what's so nice about a small community. People know Chrissy. They know Robbie. They know Jesse. They know Trevor. You know, they, they know our Special Olympians. Matthew, everybody, they know them. Yeah, well, they're, uh, they're well entrenched. Uh, they're fixtures uh, or pillars in our community, we'll call them. Um, been here forever and uh, everybody knows him and you go out for an afternoon with Bobby Hall and uh, man he knows everyone yes it's he does for impressive. sure he does he knows everybody that's for sure so then th the next day after that we had our law enforcement torch run started right across the street from our studios here at Settlers Ridge Center and that was a great support too yeah we had probably close to I would say 50 to 60 people out, including athletes, uh, some of our members uh, on duty, they, uh, they made sure we got through the, uh, the altered route safely. Uh, we did have to change up the route a bit just because there was a whole bunch of other activities in the, the north end of town where we were going to end, plus uh, the construction. So next year we'll go back to normal. But uh, I want to say thank you to our staff that made sure uh, we were able to get out and do our runs safely, as well as uh, we had a lot of members come in on their day off. So uh, again, huge shout out to them. A lot, a lot of the members brought their kids out. So it, it is nice to see it's a family event and supporting a great cause. And uh, after the run, we uh, we went down to Canadian Tire. So a big shout out to them as well. Um, and we did some more tolling at the entrance exits and sold some of our um, law enforcement torch run t-shirts, uh, which again, that goes directly back into our, our local program here for Special Olympics. And I do want to uh, just say a big shout out to AC Towing. They uh, supplied us with a tow truck. Uh, we do have some athletes that can't run that distance, so they were able to uh, get them there safely on the on the back of the um, the back of the big truck. So it's always uh, fun to see. And we we don't even have to ask him. He always shows up every year for us too. Exactly. It's just one of those things. Uh, a couple hours out of his week uh, or day, for that matter, uh, gets so much out of it as we talked about before it's it's you put a little bit in and you get so much more in return volunteering with uh organizations such as the special Olympics. so that's right that's right and you know you it was you, when you mentioned the weather was you know raining before <clears throat> excuse me the before and after it did that for our golf tournament as well a couple of days later it, it certainly did so we had the, like the whole <clears throat> perfect day um zero bugs or very little bugs um because we had so much rain, a few of the holes uh, were a little soggy, but they had them all marked off accordingly. But no, we had, uh, again, 
just we don't have the the numbers yet so we'll hopefully have that for next month but I, i'm sure we broke records uh, on how much we raised on that one day golf tournament we had over 100 close to 140 golfers uh which was we were full we were out of carts at the uh, Smith falls golf and country club um so we were telling people you have to walk it we have no carts available um did wonderful though and such an amazing staff out at the uh, the golf club and always a great supper and um just had a blast we had such a great community groups come out again support this and uh, they were very generous and the sponsors alone too oh yeah <laughs> so normally uh i would say we would have under 50 i think this year we had 68 whole sponsors mm -hmm. um, so again what's nice with the golf tournament is everything goes back into our, our smith falls um branch of special olympics so um where the the provincial stuff goes into a provincial pot so the the golf tournament is all of them it's it's only smith falls so um we're hoping to have a record-breaking year for that but um uh, I'm, I'm hoping for at least 13 to 15 thousand that's that's my hope anyways for that one wow total. yeah 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 and it, it was a great event and uh, like we say the sun shine on, shone on us for a reason too for sure <laughs> Now, right, yeah. uh, June is Pride Awareness Month, and uh, Smith Falls has had a few uh, events and activities going on too, but we're only halfway through the month, so there's still a lot going on. There's definitely a lot to, to happen, and uh, I saw Town Council approved uh, a sidewalk in the downtown core uh, with the Pride color going across the street as a crosswalk. So I've seen those in other communities, and uh, you know what? Great, great uh, supporter of that. And we want to make sure Smith Falls as a community is uh, it's inclusive for everyone. And safe for everybody so that's on our policing model that's that's we want a diverse community but at the same time it has to be safe and open for everybody um so that could be if you're if you're moving from another immigrating from another country or uh, anyone for that matter so we're just happy uh, to see some of the events out and uh, i did see the russell street uh, event that they had a, a dance i can't remember the name of it uh, Man, that was uh, looked like a blast, and uh, we didn't have an actual parade go through town, um, but there was a, like a, a motorcade, if you would. So they were doing a Lanark County version. So they would start off in, let's say, Almont and Crom Place. They would pick more cars up, um, let's say, here in Smith Falls. So they were meeting. That was the same day we were doing our, our torch run. So they were going to meet at the mall, or sorry, at the arena, and then from there they were going to travel to Perth and pick up more, and uh, have it as a, a big big event that way so again always fun to see and uh, it, it's nice that we can celebrate uh, any anybody in our communities right so um, but it, it is nice to see that uh, they were very welcome and uh, I mean they, they closed off the street for the dance and everything like that so just amazing it seems to be getting bigger and bigger uh, every year and uh, I think this is only our third maybe year of celebrating uh, Pride Month uh, in Smith Falls. We had a couple years shut down because of COVID, but uh, I think this is maybe year three. I could be a little bit off with that, but man, such a blast. That's right. That's right. And and, and this year too, and I don't know whether they started it earlier, but I know this year for sure, uh, there's been a collaboration of the Perth, the Smith Falls, Mississippi Mills, and uh, they're working together too to make sure the, the events are bigger and better and, you know, not all at the same time. And, you know, so we can share, share in the events in, in, uh, in our local towns. Yeah, makes sense to have the um, like the coordinated county model, if you would, and then like you said, it's it's a lot easier to manage and organize and uh, just make those bigger and better events. So, yeah, that's right, that's right. Well, speaking of bigger and better events too, and uh, we're, we're able to celebrate this year Canada Day. Yeah, so happy uh, the town made their official announcement, so we are celebrating. Everything's going to be held at Lower Reach Park. Um, so down there, they're gonna have some vending stations, uh, like people selling stuff and handing out stuff. So we'll have a, a tent or a display set up there. And uh, I think we're teaming up with victim services. So we'll have them as well as uh, we'll share a little spot there. Um, but the, the biggest news is we're actually running the bicycle decorating contest. So um, there'll be a registration um, desk out by the Kinsman Club building and uh it'll be an hour worth of registrations and judging and then at the end of it uh we'll announce the winners of course but then uh, i'm going to take the kids on a, uh, a drive all the way around like we used to used to go from the arena down to centennial park or murphy park um, but this one 
because it's out lower reach park we're just going to go around the big white track and all the kids are going to have the decorated bikes and show them off so it's going to be fun um and then after that we'll be at that marketplace which is kind of adjacent in the in the grassy area uh, beside the kinsman club and i think it goes 11 to 3 is the times that uh, it's slotted for so I'm so glad you're having the bicycle decorating contest too, because that's huge. The the children just oh, love man. that here, you know, and the turnout, it's amazing. And, and you know, it's not just the children that get involved. It's the parents and the and family and friends are helping decorate. I mean, there's wagons, there's bicycles, there's trikes, there's all sorts of things, anything with wheels on it <laughs> and you can pedal it. <laughs> it's fair game. You're right. Mm -hmm. So no, and, and you've seen some of the ones in the past years and wow, there's a, there's some talent in that. Uh, in these decorating the bicycles and stuff like that so no we're, we're happy uh we were approached by the town to see if we can manage that so i've got uh, some of our staff some volunteers coming out to assist with that and uh like i said afterwards we're just going to do our come and see us down at our it's a big red smith falls police service tent uh, we'll have some giveaways there and you can kind of have some chats uh, informal chats with me and some of the other officers Excellent, excellent. Well, before we wrap up, because I'm going to have to have you come back and we'll talk about this a little bit more too, is you have a fishing day for the children coming up too. Yeah, so we're letting everybody know. So it's uh, it's going to be Sunday, July 10th, and that's going to be down at Lower Reach Park as well. Um, it's going to be more details to follow, but uh, there'll be a pre-registration that's highly recommended because um, there's a, a free lunch uh, for any kid that does register for it. So they just kind of want to know numbers. Um, so that's a Kinsman Club again, that wonderful partnership as well as Canyon Tire, and then we have the Police Association of Ontario that uh, makes a donation for local communities, and uh, that helps with some of the prizings and uh, stuff. So keep an eye out on our Facebook, um, but we'll definitely have more information as it gets closer, and uh, we'll have that uh, email sign-up list, and it's just a simple, can you sign up my grandchild, uh, Ethan, he's five years old, and that's it. That's right. That's right. And, you know, at, what I'm hearing today, and I, I, I know it from, from knowing you, Aaron, and, and speaking here so often, too, there's so many partnerships that the police department has. I mean, we've talked the Kinsman Club. We've talked about Special Olympics. We've talked about the Golf and Country Club. We've talked about how many sponsors did you guys get the other day to help out, too. So it's just it's such and victim oh. services. You've got such good partnerships. Yeah, so that's all networking. That's all having these relationships. Same with Hugh Caffey and... Uh, your TV, Lake 88, huge, huge uh, local support, plus our newspaper, the press. So it, that's what the community, I mean, we're, we're in the community just like everybody else. We're fully, fully entrenched in it. And uh, I'm kind of that filter. So if there's any issues in the community, I can bring it forward on the policing model and vice versa. If we want to address anything through the community, um, that's why we have all these wonderful relationships. And I mean, it's much more fun having community partners out for, uh, for events and uh, then rather than just seeing boring old me every time. So uh, <laughs> that's that's usually why I sucker people into to coming out. But uh, no, it's all about those community relationships and partnerships. That's, uh, that's our model. So. Excellent, excellent. I mean, it's something else I, I just thought of too, you had the, the day at Starbucks. Mm, yes. Yeah, so that was uh, Coffee with a Cop. Yes. And we had uh, victim services out. So that was part of uh, a police week activities into rolling into crime week, um, victims of crime. So that's why victim services were engaged with that one. And again, just that partnership uh, with local Starbucks did an amazing job. And uh, we've been talking about it since they opened, but then COVID hit. So we were able to do it and happy to do it. And uh, their staff is amazing there. So um, had some great conversations with people. And it's just one of those informal uh, conversations with the police officer and ask questions and We'll try and give you the best answers we can, and uh, it's just a, a nice, pleasant interaction with the public. So absolutely. very happy to do those. Absolutely, absolutely. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up here, Aaron? One more thing I did forget on July 1st. It's kickoff for our bicycle helmet contest. So um, what we do is have our frontline road officers. They're going to stop youth out in the public um, that are caught wearing their bicycle helmets. And uh, we will have some Froster coupons for the Circle K, so a great partnership again with Circle K, Crime Stoppers, um, those are the two sponsors for it. And then at the end of the month, um, we'll do a draw and one lucky youth will have a, uh, a new bicycle from Canyon Tire here in town. So again, just those partnerships and uh, fun programs and uh, fun events. So just be on the lookout for that. And every year the kids know when the Froster coupons are coming out because uh, once we stop one child, there's usually a, a pack or a, 
a swarm of other six or seven youths come over. Do you guys have the coupons? So, uh, yeah, we'll have them for sure. So, so they're stopping you, which is, is what you want them to do, too. <laughs> they exactly. want You want them but to again, talk to you. That's that whole, we call it positive ticketing, right? Yep. So we're, we're having a positive interaction with the youth. Um, so the more positives we can have with youth before they turn into adults uh, is going to make just um, easier relationships uh, with the adult population after. So. Absolutely, I agree. Well, thank you very much for joining us again, uh, Constable Aaron Tompkins, Community Service Officer with our Smith Falls Police Department. Thanks for joining us. We'll have you back uh, in a couple of weeks and we'll talk more about your fishing day. Excellent. And again, uh, thanks for the support and uh, the community collaboration with you guys.